Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am back in the kitchen today and I am going to cook a big old crock pot roast. And this is so simple and easy and delicious. It does take all day to cook it because I'm going to be cooking it on the low setting. So I will start early this morning and then we'll be back tonight to see the result. And I know it's going to be delicious. So I want to ask you to join me and y'all just come along and let's see if we can have some fun while we cook. So I purchased this um, black Angus beef roast at uh, Stop and Shop and uh, it was on sale for, let's see, $3.99 per pound. So I got it for $11.09, which was a great buy because y'all know roasts are like the regular price here, $20 for a nice roast. And it is a choke roast. So it has plenty of marbling in it, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So I am really anxious to cook it. It's got a lot of fat in it, so that means a lot of flavoring. Okay, so I'm going to go easy on the salt because I am adding a packet of the Lipton um, onion soup mix. So I just put a little salt, pepper, a little paprika, and then this is my mixture of um, garlic powder and onion powder. So let's just go ahead and rub that in a little bit. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of my secret ingredient, my Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. So let's get this rubbed into the roast also. So into the roast, in addition to the soup mix, I'm going to be putting my onions, garlic, mushrooms, potatoes, and carrots. I'm really looking forward to this. It's a big roast, so I'm going to slice it up and divide it up and probably get Oh, let's see. Probably seven meals out of it, I would say at least, maybe eight. So with the potatoes and carrots, I don't really need that big of a slice of meat. I do love black pepper, so I'm gonna go very generous with the black pepper. I have a little bit of flour here, so let me go ahead and uh, coat it in just a tiny bit of flour. And let's go ahead and get this braised. Okay, let me add a little flour to this side. I may need to get another tablespoon just to thicken the, make a little roux out of it. We'll see. Let me just rub all of this in real well. Gosh, it's been a very long time since I cooked a, a whole roast. You may have to put a little more lard in there. Like I said, I do want to get a little bit more flour. So let me get my bag of flour out. I bought these little containers at Dollar Tree. I think I got about eight in the package. So they're real handy and dandy to use in the kitchen for pre-measuring my ingredients. So what I'm going to do is saute the onions and the mushrooms a little bit because I like them to caramelize some. But you can just dump it all into the crock pot, however you prefer. I'm just showing you the way that I do it. I did spray the inside of the crock pot with Pam and I have it set on the low setting. If this does have, have to cook about eight hours. See, it's 9 a.m. So it'll be ready right at dinner time, about 16 minutes.
really enjoy cooking with this lard, y'all. It sure flavors it. Y'all see the movie, Mamma Mia? When I was taking care of this um, elderly lady named Roberta, I used to take her to the theater. She was in a wheelchair because um, her left leg had been amputated because of lupus. But um, yeah, I took her and we watched Mama, Mama Mia and had popcorn and soda and really enjoyed it. She was a lot of fun to be around. hard work though. I had to lift her. Her bedroom was upstairs, so I had to lift her out of the bed, put her in the wheelchair, roll her into the bathroom. There was an aide that came three times a week that um who bathed her. Who gave her a shower, so I didn't have to give her a shower. But yeah, I would help her wash her face and fix her hair and get her dressed. And then um, for her to go downstairs, I had to take her out of the wheelchair and put her in the chairlift. But the stair was broken up because you would go down this way. And then it was separated for the, for the long set of stairs going down that way. So I had to pick her up in the landing and put her in the other chair. So she only weighed 90-something pounds, but still that was a lot of hard work lifting her and then when I got down to the bottom of the stairs I had to lift her and put her in the wheelchair that we kept down there for her. And then I would roll her up to the table and she would eat um she had a bowl of um banana flavored um honey nut Cheerios or something something that was banana flavored. She ate that every day and drank a glass of orange juice. And then when she finished with that, I would um, take her into the living room and put her into her recliner. And then she would sit there a couple of hours. And then around 11, I would lift her out of the recliner and put her in the wheelchair. And then I would take her outside and we would go for a walk around the neighborhood for an hour until lunchtime. But then she got an electric wheelchair. Medicare bought it for her. So then she wanted to start going on the walks by herself. You know, she wanted some independence. Well, first of all, she was living with her daughter and son-in-law. First of all, her daughter didn't want her going by herself, and I really didn't either because I was worried about her safety. So I had to walk with her, you know, the first few times in her electric wheelchair. Y'all, she would just go flying. Flying! 
ran through the neighborhood and run stop signs and everything. She almost got hit by a car because she was so excited and in such a hurry to, to get out and be independent, she wouldn't even stop at the stop signs. So we finally taught her, you know, you, you really have to stop at the stop signs and look both ways as if you were driving a car. So she finally did gain her independence and get to go on by herself in a little chair. Okay, so let me show you this. It's bound up very nicely. So to this, I'm going to add a can of beef broth. Here you go, the beef broth. And then I will thicken this with the, the flour. I'm not going to brown the flour and make a roux. I don't think that's necessary. Let me just thicken this with a little bit of flour before it gets too hot and then it won't dissolve. With all of these vegetables in it, I think this um, and the onion soup mix, I think the liquid would thicken up. Okay, so I think I'll just go ahead and add this Lipton soup mix to this. Let's just stir this up a little bit. Put a little bit of my garlic powder in here. A little paprika. Okay, I think this is ready to pour over the rose. And uh, we're gonna let it cook, like I said, for, I'll check it in about six hours about three o'clock, and then determine if the fire needs to be turned up onto high or not. Mmm, this really looks good, doesn't it? Uh, this is about five medium potatoes that I chopped. sure some of the juice is going to cook out of that rose. I can always add water later. So, okay, let me just poke around in here and see if there's enough juice. Yeah, it's, it's uh, got a lot of juice in it. So I expect this to cook down. Like I said, I'll be back in six hours to check on it. It is on the low setting. So I'll be back and show y'all what it looks like in about six hours. So see you then. Okay, guys, so this is the delicious pot roast that has been cooking all day on low in my crock pot. And I cooked me a pot of rice. I'm going to eat it over the jasmine rice. And I know it's going to be delicious. So I hope that you will try this recipe. I know that you will love it as much as I'm going to love it. And you just add whatever vegetables you want. So thank you for watching. Please like my video and share. And subscribe if you're just passing through. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.